and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film for you guys a bit of an old school video for me. I used to share a lot of mom life on my channel here, but I've switched over to more thrifty vintage life um, as of a couple years ago or more. I can't, I can't remember. But anyway, um, I was contacted by some of my old school, like OG friends here on YouTube. And we thought it would be fun to do a collaboration of showing you guys what we thrift for our kids for Christmas. So there are two collaborators with me on this video here. The first one is Jen from Happily Organized Chaos. I'm going to link her channel down below. I'm also going to link uh, Kelly from Yard Sale Squad uh, down below because she'll also have a video. So the three of us are coming at you with uh, thrifty Christmas ideas for kids and um, that sort of thing. So what you may or may not know is I do have two children, seven and nine, and I have to admit it was easier to thrift for them when they were younger. Uh, it's getting a little bit harder to find what they want for Christmas <laughs> um, at the thrift store because you know they want the latest and greatest gadgets and gadgets and that sort of thing. But I do still do stocking stuffers and things like that that I can um, sort of fill in uh, the gaps of gifts like big gifts that they want. So these are smaller gifts that um, I did pick up from the thrift store. I thrift for Christmas throughout the year so some of them I don't quite remember where I got them or for how much but I'm gonna share them anyway so like I said um, seven and nine years old so these are ideas for older a little bit older kids um, you know I almost consider them like getting into the tween years so um, let's just hop into it okay Okay, so first off, my son um, wanted some new markers. <laughs> he wanted um, not thick markers, but not thin markers either, something in between. So I was able to find that at the thrift store. I found a whole pack. They came in like a Ziploc baggie here, but I, I found a whole pack of these and I was able to try them at the store to make sure that they worked. Um, I, I asked the, the thrift store if I could do that and they said no problem. So I found a whole pack of these uh, markers here. They do in fact all work. They happen to be like um, doubled up, which was kind of cool. So what I will do is I'll take them out of the Ziploc bag and this will be a stocking stuffer. So I will wrap it in um, an elastic and then I will tie it with a little uh, bow. So that'll make a great little gift. And I believe it cost me, let's see, um, it says $2, but I'm pretty sure that I probably got 50% off of them. So I probably paid a dollar for these here. And I know you can go to the dollar store and find similar things, but I'm really a fan, of, as you guys know, of shopping secondhand, um, not only to save money, but also to save, um, you know, not that I'm saving the environment <laughs> entirely, but it does do, you know, it is more environmentally friendly to shop secondhand. So I definitely, um, you know, my first choice is always to shop secondhand. So that's that for him. Another thing I found for him, he's super into hockey. So a lot of his bigger gifts were um, hockey related this year. And so I was able to, um, not thrift those things, but I was able to find something this year that is hockey related at the thrift store. It came in a bag and it was $2.99 and I think he'll get a kick out of these things. I bought him little figurines like this before. Um, there's a couple baseball ones and stuff. So he has like a little shelf in his room where he likes to keep these things. So I found a little hockey set, like a little porcelain um, hockey set. I don't know if it's vintage, but it's got a definitely a vintage vibe and came with a hockey net and like little hockey figurines. So there's that one, these little guys here, and then this little guy here. So I will just sort of clean those up if they need any cleaning and pop them in a little box, maybe wrapped with tissue paper, and that'll be a, a gift. And I only spent $2.99, and actually I probably got um, 20, percent off or 30 percent 20 percent off I think they do now so 20 percent off of that so good little uh gift for him there so the next thing is for Miriam and actually it's not going to be for Miriam because I I did this last year but I saw this and I thought I would share it with you guys because um it's a good idea <laughs> so Miriam is seven she's getting into sort of like makeup but I wanted to make sure that she used um good quality makeup and not just like play makeup when she was doing her makeup for the first time so what I did last year was I got a little um, like caboodle, like a little makeup kit for her. And I 
and then I bought new um, makeup to put in there. So I found this little kit. Uh, it's not a caboodle. The brand is, hmm, what's it called? The brand is, let's see, is this going to open? Yeah. The band, the brand is Sasabi, S-A-S-S-A-B-Y, um, and made in San Diego, I think. But anyway, this is it here. It is definitely uh, vintage. I just love the colors. Um, the colors were so cool. So um, this is, for, it's like this kind of um, peachy pink a little bit with the t uh, turquoise blue. So excellent condition. This cost me $6, so a little bit um, pricey, I guess. But I'm going to actually try to resell this um, online because uh, I'm not gifting it for Miriam. But <laughs> I could. And so I just wanted to share with you guys the idea. It does open like this. And then it's got like a little even spot for um, lipsticks and stuff like that. So great little kit for anyone's, you know, into makeup. Um, you can use uh, this little thing and then fill it with um, not secondhand makeup, but new makeup, um, but good quality makeup if you want. So that is that. I thought this was really cool. So I picked that up for uh, $6. So that would be a good idea for Christmas. Next, I shared this in a haul before, uh, but it is this puzzle. I found this um, earlier in the year and this makes a great stocking stuffer. It was $1.99. I had tucked this away. So I'm going to probably give this to Miriam. Um, excellent condition. This one actually um, has all the pieces in there, but at the thrift store you can find puzzles that um, haven't even been opened or anything like that. Uh, so you can definitely, you know, thrift puzzles for your kids. Uh, depending on how old they are, you can do that. So that was pretty cool. Then the next thing uh, is for Jude, and I've got these two uh, baseball caps. Now, I don't really remember where I got these from. I want to say I either got them from Facebook Marketplace or I got them from a neighbor, but they, they are second hand, um, but they look brand new. So, um, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool to have these hats that look brand new, but they are second hand. So, um, this is, uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. So this is a cool little hat, like looks like it's barely been worn. So that was a good pickup for Jude. Um, I think I did end up getting these from my neighbors. So they were free, which is awesome, but you can definitely find stuff like this that hasn't been worn or looks like it hasn't been worn. Um, from the thrift store. So there's this one here and then there's this um, Under Armour one here. So definitely cool. This one also doesn't look like it's been worn. So good little finds for Jude. I don't know which one. I might just pick one and gift it to him uh, this year, but really cool uh, finds that I think I got these for free. So even better. Next, a staple you can always find at the thrift store is clothing <laughs> and a variety of different types of clothing. So if you're looking for unique stuff, then the thrift store is definitely where to go. Um, I found this really cool t-shirt for Miriam. It was $4.99, but I got 20% um, off. The brand is Mini Rodini Organic, so good quality brand. And it doesn't even look like it's been worn. So this is it here. She's into dogs, of course. So I just thought this was a really cool um, shirt for her. So I thought that uh, she would like that. And it is super, super cute. So those dogs are adorable. So there's this little shirt here. And then I also found her this shirt, which I think was um, maybe handmade, hand sewn. Um, and it was $3.49, but 20% off. And it's this LOL um, shirt here. It's like a, like a little sweater almost. It's got thick material, but there it is there. It's in excellent condition. There are no tags and you can sort of see um, like someone used their serger on it. So I think that this was handmade. Someone had made this for their child, but I was able to find it at the thrift store, which is great because I don't sew. <laughs> and um, this will be for Miriam as well. So little gift there. And then the last piece of clothing is actually for Jude. And it is this um, under, under gear, I guess you'd call it, for hockey. So he plays hockey and he need these little shirts to go under your equipment. And this one is actually blue and white, which is great because that's um, our town colors. And it is um, starter brand, I believe. Yeah. Starter brand. And because it's white, you can really tell that it's in excellent condition because there is no staining whatsoever. And uh, this was $5.99, so a bit pricier, but I went on a day where shirts were 50% off, which is why I was able to pick this up for only $3. Okay, back to Miriam. She's been wanting a uh, sticker book. 
and I, I find it hard to find sticker books online because they don't have um, the sticker pages that you can like remove the stickers they're reusable they're just like stick down on paper which I think defeats the point of collecting and trading stickers right so um, I remember when I was a kid I just had like a photo album with the pages that are like this and you'd like pull up this and then you can stick on there and then cover it up and then you can take your stickers off and reuse them. So at the thrift store, I was able to find a um, old school <laughs> uh, photo album pages and then I just tucked it in a binder that I also found at the thrift store. Um, so I think for this, I ended up paying $2, uh, $3 for the um, photo album and then I switched it out for this uh, binder which was a dollar because the photo album that it came in I thought she wouldn't really like the cover of it <laughs> so I got this instead and I've got these little um, stickers that I'll put on top and of this clear part here that it'll say Miriam sticker book or something to that effect so for under five dollars I was able to come up with a personalized sticker book for her and stocking stuffer for Miriam I was able able to find her one of these things actually my mom found this for her um, or not for her but found it and I thought oh that'd be perfect for Miriam so it's just this little thing here where you can see the water and the different color um, of you know oil or whatever is in there um, come on down so that's fun to sort of look at as you're falling asleep or anything like that Miriam's into the fidgets <laughs> the fidget craze right now so I thought this would be good for her and this was actually only uh, 50 cents so really great deal there this will be a great stocking stuffer then for Jude, I thought this was cool. I think he'll really like it. It's a game of pickup sticks, uh, but it's in this old vintage tin. So I paid up a little bit for this one here. I paid $6 for it, um, but um, you know, it's vintage and when he doesn't want it anymore or whatever, then I thought I could resell it, but really cool. It's got the um, sticks in there, so that's good. And um, I just thought this was really neat. You know me, I love the old school uh, packaging. So I was happy to pick this up for him for a little gift. And then also for Miriam, I was able to find her this like acrylic slash lucite uh, frame. And um, I just thought this was really neat. And she can put a picture in there or maybe I'll print out a picture, put it in there of maybe the four of us or maybe of Winnie, our dog, or maybe her and her friend, or something like that. It's just a little flower, but I thought that it had a great vintage touch to it. You can see there it cost me a dollar, and uh, I think this would be perfect for her. So she's gonna love that. And then lastly, to wrap all these gifts, <laughs> I was able to thrift wrapping paper. So this wrapping paper here was $3.50. I don't know if you can see that there. $3.50 and it's got this great uh, green and white kind of like almost candy cup candy cane-esque wrapping paper um, it was it's a hundred square feet originally $6.99 but it looks a bit vintage to me a hundred square feet of wrapping paper I thought $3.50 was a good deal and it seems like the good quality stuff like pretty thick so I was happy to find that there so those are the Christmas gifts that I've thrifted for my kids this year. Um, thank you so much to Jen for reaching out uh, to me and inviting me to be a part of this collaboration. I'm always happy to collaborate with um, people on videos and this was fun because I know that I've had some requests actually this year of what I am getting my kids um, for Christmas if I thrifted the item. So this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go check out Kelly's video um, from Yard Sale Squad as well as Jen from Happily Organized Chaos. And um, if you aren't subscribed to this channel and you'd like to see more videos from me, then please consider subscribing and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!